Anthony Yard in his first fight in eight months defeats Ralph Vilkens by a decision. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give my reaction to Yard versus Vilkens. I didn't get a chance to watch it over the weekend because I was a little bit ill, but I was just hearing a lot of negativity about how this fight was a very underwhelming performance from Anthony Yard. Um, I saw some people saying that Anthony Yard has been exposed and yeah, so I've only just had a chance to watch the fight and I have to say that this fight was very competitive. I thought it was a good fight, but I think with many people, especially when Anthony Yard fights a fighter that most of us have never heard of before, we expect him to completely smoke them out, knock them out within two rounds, three rounds, and then the night can go on. But we were mistaken. After Yard knocked down Vilkas within 10 seconds, we thought it was just obviously going to be the same story. But Vilkas showed so much heart and showed that he was a warrior. He was not intimidated by Yard's strength. The thing is with Yard now, you can obviously see that he was the one that was hitting the harder shots. But Vilkas was always landing. Even though, though his shots were not as hard hitting as, as Yard's, but yeah, he was, he was willing to trade with Yard. He was countering really well, hitting Yard with some really good body shots. Yard as well was, in himself as well, was throwing some good right hands, also good body shots as well. Another thing I noticed in this fight as well, um, the referee, Victor Lachlan, um, who was actually scoring the fight. There was no judges at all. Um, he was letting a lot of like, you know, some illegal tactics go on. So there's a few times where Yard was actually putting his glove in, in Vilkaz's face. Referee didn't give him any warnings at all. There's a few times that Vilkaz was holding the back of Anthony Yard's head and, 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 and throwing punches. There was a lot of punches that were low from both fighters. Um, as you can see, like with Vilkas, his shorts were very, very low. But then um, a lot of shots were like hitting like, like below the belt. And, you know, obviously a legal shot is obviously if you, sh if you hit someone under underneath their belly button, then that's a low blow. So I saw quite a lot of low shots, but credit to both men. No one complained at all. They just fought. And it was actually very competitive. And I found it quite entertaining. Referee Victor Lachlan scored it 98-92 in Anthony Yard's favour. Um, I probably at best would have given Vilkans at least four or even five rounds. It was that close to me. But the right man won. Now to Anthony Yard. Does he really deserve all the criticism that he's getting? Is Anthony Yard at the level that we assume he is at. The reason I say this is because we assume that Anthony Yard is world level because he has fought two world title fights against Sergei Kovalev and Arta Betibiev. Before those world title fights, what level was Anthony Yard fighting at? Me asking these questions isn't in any way trying to belittle Anthony Yard because he's achieved a lot in his career. But I just want to bring to light the kind of level that he was fighting before he got to those world title fights. The main criticism that Anthony Yard and his team have received over the years is that he wasn't brought up the right way. The traditional route for most British fighters would be to fight at area level, then from area level, you go on to fight for the British title, then from the British title, a Commonwealth title, then from Commonwealth, you go to a European title level, and then from European level, you work your way to world title level. But that wasn't the case with Anthony Yard. We all understand when someone starts their career, they start off fighting journeymen for the first probably three or four fights, and then they start stepping up their fighters. But 
it always felt with Anthony Yard's team that they were avoiding certain British fights. And he would always fight these, what people would describe as being bin men and road sweepers. Well, this is not me. <laughs> this is what, what a lot of people were saying. Like, you know, like that saying that Shannon Briggs used to say, like, you fighting pies, you fighting pies, you know, fighting pies and tomato cans and shit now. So I felt that Anthony Yard wasn't really learning anything at all. But what we would always hear from his camp is that Anthony Yard has only had 12 amateur fights and he's still developing and, and people shouldn't worry about what we're doing. Um, um, they should worry about their careers. And, and this is mainly stuff that will come from um, his coach, um, Tunde Ajayi. And they basically had their plan for Anthony. He won a Commonwealth title, and I can't even remember who he won that against. And then I remember him winning a WBO European title. So he never won the European champ championship. He won the WBO version of a European title. And somehow he got a very high WBO ranking to fight Kovalev the first time. But as you can see, these are massive level jumps for Anthony Yod. So from fighting tomato cans as most people would describe then you're fighting for a world title against Kovalev and that gamble nearly paid off because Kovalev was in obviously the twilight of his career he was an old champion and the gamble almost paid off but if Anthony Yard had more challenging fights better development fights he probably would have beaten Kovalev so after the Kovalev fight he fights another fighter. I can't remember who he was, but he's like levels below Kovalev in an easy fight. Then he goes on to fight Lyndon Arthur. No disrespect to Lyndon Arthur, but he was someone that we never really heard of. But he's the first kind of big British level fighter that Anton Yard had fought. Yard loses their first fight. He wins the rematch between the two of them, gets another world title opportunity against Better Biev. And I have to say that fight was an extremely entertaining fight while it lasted. But again, Anthony Yard's lack of experience was telling in that fight. So this is a repeated thing in Anthony Yard's career. Fights extremely low level fighters, then gets maneuvered into a world title fight, loses, fights low level again, world title, loses, low level. So my question is, what level is Anthony Yard really at? Is he British level? Is he European level? Now, I'm not being horrible or being disrespectful, but I'm basing this all on his resume and who he has fought. The light heavyweight division isn't the strongest division in boxing, but Bivol and Better Biev are head and shoulders above the rest. I think Anthony Yard is an extremely talented boxer, but I just feel that the way he was developed hasn't helped him at all. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.